What's going on everybody? In this week's video, I'm gonna be covering Lightroom's newest tool, the color grading feature. Uh, I really enjoyed using this for editing my photos. And so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I use that and kind of the benefits that I think it provides you. So let's not wait any longer. We'll go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so I'm here in Lightroom and I'm just gonna show you guys really briefly how to use this new color grading feature. Uh, I've already added some basic edits on this photo. You can see here is after my kind of just basic edits over here. This is before, this is after. You can see this this photo is lacking a lot of color. Uh, it's pretty boring right now, but the color grading is actually gonna be a great way to kick back a little bit of color into there. So you can see when I scroll down, make sure you're in the develop uh, module here. You can go down to color grading, open that up and you'll have these three uh, color circles here. And these are gonna allow you to affect the midtones, the shadows, or the highlights. Just by clicking and dragging uh, this center circle will allow you to affect those. So uh, what I like to do is actually go in and make each circle bigger so I have a little more options. So I'm actually gonna click here. This one's highlights, this one's midtones, this one's shadows. All the circles are the same. It's just what it's affecting is different. So on a photo like this, the first thing that I want to do is I want to kind of make those highlights a little bluer. Uh, it is fog, so I'm okay with it being a little blue. A lot of times in photos, I'll actually warm the highlights, but in this one, I want to cool it down because it is very foggy. So I can just click and drag from the center here. You can see that now we are affecting the fog by making it more blue. And the nice thing is once I figure out about how much saturation I want, which right here feels right to me, I can actually click right here on this little circle and I can drag it around and change the color. So once you figure out exactly how much saturation is right, I recommend just grabbing this and then really nailing the color. And I think somewhere right around there looks good. I wanna go ahead and affect the shadows now. Now the shadows has a lot of trees, which would normally be green. So I'm actually gonna tone those a little bit green. So let's go grab this. And you can see the saturation works in quite quickly here. So I don't want to overdo it. Just a little bit of saturation. Somewhere about in there. Right about there looks good. Now we can change the luminance of the shadows or of the highlights or of the midtones, which will increase the brightness or darkness. So I'm going to drop the luminance on those shadows a little bit. And I'm going to bring the luminance up on the highlights a little bit. And you can see already, uh, I've already made quite the large change. Uh, actually, I feel like the shadows are maybe a little oversaturated. You can actually grab this uh, SAT, which stands for saturation, and decrease the saturation here if you don't wanna have to grab it on the wheel, which is a super nice feature. Lastly, I might go into the midtones and just make it a little bluer. The midtones are gonna affect a good portion of this image. You can see in my histogram here, a lot of the images in the midtones. So let's go make this a little blue just to kind of give it that look and feel. And maybe I'm gonna go back to the luminance of the highlights here and pop that. Okay, so we'll toggle that. So you can see that kind of I've brought this really boring image and I've added a little bit of mood and tone just by doing a few simple sliders in the color grading here. So the last thing that I like doing to kind of make things all work together here is adjust this blending and balance. Now the blending is the first thing you wanna adjust. This is going to change how much blending there is between the highlights and the midtones and shadows. So Usually I'll increase it and decrease it and see if I kind of like what it's doing. Um, I'm actually okay with it right just above 50. Looks good to me. It's not doing much. It's not too big of an issue here, but if you are doing more saturation and you're really trying to tone the colors and the shadows and the highlights, that blending is gonna come in handy. Now I'm gonna affect the balance. If I increase the balance, we are going to affect more of the highlights and less of the shadows. If I decrease it, we're gonna affect more of the shadows and less of the highlights. In this photo, I think I might increase the balance just to kind of give those highlights a little more oomph to them. And then I'm gonna to toggle that. And that's about all the color grading that I would do to this photo. So you can see before, after, before, after. And you can hit this button here to toggle it in Lightroom. So I understand not all of you guys have very foggy photos. You're not all from the Pacific Northwest, uh, but you guys likely do have a photo similar to this one, just a nice kind of nice clouds in the morning, just some nice soft light and whatnot. So I've applied a few basic edits here in Lightroom. You can see that is after the edits. So I've kind of neutralized the photo a little bit as opposed to this yellow tone.
Now I'm going to go down to the color grading. And I think the first thing that I want to do here is I want to kind of make these shadows a little bluer. The shadows come out kind of green. Um, and normally, realistically, the shadows are going to be blue because they're in the shade. So on most photos, you can make the shadows blue to give it a little more realistic look and feel. Probably about that much sat saturation. Right about there. So let's toggle that. You can see it's a super subtle change to these shadows here, um, but it does help give it a little more realistic look and feel. Maybe I'll reduce the saturation just a touch. Then I'm going to go into the highlights, and maybe on this one I'm going to warm the highlights. So let's go to yellowish orange. Now you can see that I'm affecting these clouds up here. We do not want that. So let's go ahead. We're going to go into the balance, and we are going to drag the balance down so that we're affecting more of the shadows and less of the highlights. We can toggle this now. Very, very subtle changes. Uh, we're going to increase the blending, perhaps a few points. And let's increase the luminance of those highlights. That's going to help pop those clouds. Let's go into the shadows and decrease the luminance, maybe. Yeah, that's just going to add a little bit of contrast. And then if you wanted to kind of tone the whole photo, I'd recommend going into the midtones. So in the midtones on this photo, I think maybe warming it would look nice. So we'll add a little bit of warmth here. And I'm always just sliding these sliders to see what they do and if I like them. I think that's looking pretty good. So you can see we've got before and after. Super subtle changes, but as with anything in photo editing, subtle changes are the way to go. All right, thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. Really hope that you learned something new about the color grading tool. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, please leave them below in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much.